Now, in this lecture, we'll talk about what is addPad function. We'll take a look at how we can use this function in PHP program. So, what is addPad function? The addPad function insert a specific number of elements with a specified value to an array. So basically, you can use this function to increase the value of the array with specified value. The syntax of this function is super easy. It start with the array pad function and in the parentheses you have three required value. The first parameter is the array, second is the size. Using the size parameter, you can specify new size to this array and the third parameter is the value. Now, let me show you a very simple example to understand this array pad function. So I'm going to simply create here a variable and specify array to it. Now what I want, I want to increase the size of this array. I'm going to simply call here a result variable to store the result and then I'm going to specify array pad function to it. And to this array pad function, I'm going to pass parameter. The first parameter is the array. So I'm going to pass this array as a first parameter to this function. Then I'm going to pass the second parameter. So I'm going to pass here 5. As you can notice here, I have only three elements in this array. So this parameter will increase the size of this array and specify five element inside this array. And if you want, you can pass value as well to the increased element. So I'm going to pass here a zero. When I try to print this result, I'm going to have the result something like this. I'm going to have my five, eight, nine, as you can notice here. And then you have two increased element. You have zero and zero. So this array is now increased by two elements. By default, this array has three elements. And using this parameter, I'm going to increase it to 5. Now, if you want to change this value, you are free to do that. When you specify here 4, it's going to change this array value, just like this. Now, what if you want to add array values at the beginning? This array is going to add this value at the end of the array. What if I want to add this array element at the beginning? So, what I'm going to do is, instead of specifying this positive value, I'm going to specify here minus 5. So, this will specify both these values at the beginning. So if you try to execute this statement, it's going to print the result something like this. You have two empty array elements at the beginning and then you have your default array elements. So if you want to add array element at the beginning of the array, you can specify here negative value. Now what if I specify here three? If I do that, this print statement will remove these two elements. So it will just simply print this array as it is. This will not increase or decrease any element from the array. Now keep in mind this function will not decrease the array element. Instead you can increase it using this function. Now this function is not mostly used in day-to-day -day PHP programs. But in case you want to increase the size of the array and add array element at the beginning or end, you can use this function. Now suppose you have an array and you don't know how many elements are there in this array. In this array, you want to add an element and increase the size of the array. So using this array pad function, you can do that. You can simply call here result variable and specify array pad to it. And in the parameter, you can pass the array as a first parameter that I'm going to call count function. So this count function will count this array and it's going to return three to this parameter. So this count function is going to return three. I'm going to add one into it. So it equals to four. And then I'm going to pass here 20, the value of the increased element. So if I try to print this statement, I'm going to have the value something like this. I'm going to have the default array and then I have the increase element with the value 20. So as you can see, I don't know how many elements are there in the array. Using this count function, you can get how many numbers of array element in the array. Now what if your array has 1000 element or more than that? In that case, you can use this beautiful count function to count how many elements are there in the array. I'm going to count the element using count function and add one into it. So I'm going to have here four as a parameter to this array pad function. Now, array pad is not really important function because there are many alternative of this function. But having additional knowledge will not let you down. So that is why we just made this tutorial to understand how this array pad function works. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.